Welcome to our lecture online and our next example you can notice that here we have the y and the x interchanged so now we're going to solve this hyperbola but since the y comes first and it's positive and the x comes second and it's negative you expect the hyperbola to open upward and downward in other words the transverse axis is going to be vertical in this case so the general equation of that one is going to be y minus k quantity squared over a squared minus the quantity x minus h squared over b squared equals 1 which means we have to take this equation like this and make it look like that and again the method is going to be finding the what we call completion of the square method to go ahead and make this look like that we're going to separate the variables so here we have 9y squared minus 18y now leave some space here minus 4x squared plus 24x leave some space here equals a positive 63 when we bring the 63 to the other side so now the next thing is we're going to factor the 9 over here and factor the negative 4 over here which means we get 9 times y squared minus 2y again leave some space minus 4 times x squared minus 6x leave some space equals 63 now we can go ahead and complete the square so we take half this coefficient squared and add it over here of course we need to compensate for it on the other side so I have 9 times y squared minus a half of that would be minus 1 squared get plus 1 so but since we also multiply times 9 9 times 1 is 9 so we actually added a 9 to the left side which means we have to add a 9 to the right side we do the same over here so we have minus 4 times x squared minus 6x so we take half of this which is minus 3 squared it is plus 9 but a minus 4 times 9 is minus 36 which means we subtracted a, nine, a minus 36 from the left side that means we need to subtract a minus 36 or we need to subtract the 36 from the right side okay now we can go ahead and write this as the square of a binomial so we get 9 times y minus 1 squared minus 4 times x minus 3 squared and that should equal the right side so 63 plus 9 is 72 subtract 36 that would be 66 that would be 36 all right now the next thing is we're almost there we want to make sure we have a 1 on the right side and the coefficients will be no longer there we just have numbers on the denominator there which means we're going to divide both sides by 36 over here 9 divided by 36 that would be 4 so we end up with y minus 1 quantity squared divided by 2 squared minus and here we have x minus 3 squared divided by 3 squared equals 1 and now we have it exactly that form remember 36 divided by 4 is 9 so divide both the top and the bottom by 4 we get 9 9 is the same as 3 squared here we get 4 4 is the same as 2 squared so now we can go ahead and grab that hyperbola here's my y-axis here's my x-axis and the first thing we're going to do is find the center the center is going to be hk be careful here k is associated with y and h is associated with x so that would be 3 and 1 not 1 and 3 so be very careful there so this would be 3 and 1 Just notice the general form so this is h 3 and this is k which is 1 another way of looking at it when the negatives are here that means you're going to get a positive number over there okay so the center is a 3 and 1 so we have 1 2 3 and 1 so the center is right there at 3 and 1 remember the hyperbola is going to open up like this with the transverse axis vertical which means we now want to find the vertices which are going to be along this line right here and the vertices can be found the vertices can be found by saying it's going to be the x value of the center which is 3 or in this case the x value would be h and the vertical points on the y-axis are going to be found by taking k plus a and by taking k minus a remember that the a is always associated with the first variable 
not with x or y, but the first variable. In this case, the first variable is y. So we're going to add an a and subtract an a from the y coordinate of the center, which means that this is going to be equal to h is equal to 3, and k is going to be 1 plus a, and a is going to be 2, right? a is the number underneath the y variable, so 1 plus 2, and we're going to get 3 and 1 minus 2, which means the two vertices can be found at 3 and 3, and at 3 and negative 1. Okay, that will be on the vertical axis going right through the center. So we have 3 and 3, that's 2 and 3, that would be this point right there, and 3 and negative 1 would be this point right there. So those are the two vertices at 3 and 3, and at 3 and negative 1. All right. We also need to find the two points that make up the box in the horizontal dire direction. So we're going to add and subtract from the x value. We're going to add and subtract the b. And b, of course, in this case is 3. So to find the vertical points, we're going to subtract 3 from x, and we're going to add 3 from x. So 3 minus 3, which puts us at 0. 3 plus 3 puts, puts us at 4, 5, 6, right there. So this is 6, this is 0. So those are the other two points that we need to make the box. So we can now make the box. This point right here is going to be 3 and 6, and this point right here is going to be 0 and, oh, ooh, that's wrong here. Sorry about that. This is 6 and 3, and 6 and 1, haha. <laughs> 6 and 1, and this is going to be 0 and 1. Ooh. All right, good. Now to find the exact shape of the hyperbola, we need to draw the asymptotes. They go through the corners, through the center like this, through the corners and through the center like this. We know that it opens up and down. These are the two vertices, so we can go ahead and graph our hyperbola this way and graph our hyperbola this way. So we found the center, we found the vertex, we still need to find the foci. Now, what we can do here is to say that c squared is equal to a squared plus b squared. a squared right here is 4. b squared right here is 9, which means that this is equal to 13, or c is equal to the square root of 13. So c squared, let me draw it a little bit better. There we go. Which means that along the vertical axis, we have the vertices here. So the vertices are a distance of a above and a below the y value of the center and to find the foci you go the square root of 13 above and the square root of 13 below the uh, y value of the of the set of the uh, center so we can say that the focus is equal to h and k plus c and h and k minus c so in this case that would be equal to h which is 3 Yes, that's the x value, and k, which would be 1 plus the square root of 13, and that would be 3 and 1 minus the square root of 13. Remember, the square root of 13 is somewhere between 3 and 4, and so when we go ahead and graph that, and I'll use a different color for that, so it'll be about there and about there, and so this would be 3 and 1 plus the square root of 13, and this here would be 3 and 1 minus the square root of 13. And those are then the two foci of the hyperbola. And that's how we graph one that opens up and down with the vertical axis being the transfer axis through the center. In the case that the y value comes first and is positive and the x value comes second, which is negative. That's how we do that.